During the last weeks, you have gotten a lot of positive PR, especially mm -hmm. in Finland, mm -hmm. in Finnish press, that Lumia 920 is selling very good and so on. Is this real or just marketing hype? So it is the case that we're getting very positive consumer feedback and you've seen it in the stores. You go into a store and you get a sense that there's people there, they're buying devices. But I think even more importantly than that, what we're seeing is that as people take these devices home as they use them, we're getting very positive feedback from that. For example, with low light photography where someone mm -hmm. takes that picture in low light conditions, they're getting great results and they're telling their friends and then their friends are going to the stores. So there's some very positive activity underway right now for sure. There's also doubts that you just don't ship that many 920s into stores to get people to uh, email you and ask why they, they cannot buy them because they're sold out. Is that true? No. It's very much the case that we're on a strategy as we introduce the 920 and the 820 to start with an initial level of production to build that over time to get to the point where we're expanding everything that we're doing store by store and now country by country as we go into the next next part of the of the new year. So we're on a very deliberate strategy to grow this over time and things are going reasonably well based on the consumer feedback. There is a very strong feeling of optimism concerning Nokia in Finland at the moment. Mm -hmm. Is that real and how do you, what's your take on that? Well, I feel a great deal of that within Nokia for sure. And the reason for that, I think, is if you think about the last year, it's been a very difficult year. We've made very difficult decisions, we've made changes, but what we've also been doing is our very best work in making great products and getting them to consumers. So whether it's the Lumia 920, whether it is you know, our ASHA full touch products, the people of Nokia are doing their best work. But what's happening now is that it's not us saying that, it is the people around the world who are saying, ah, Nokia, I love this device, and why can't I get it in yellow in my country, or whatever the case may be. And our employees are feeling that. They're reading about it in the newspapers. They're seeing it all over the world. And so that creates this sense of hope and optimism. Now, at the same time, we know we have a lot of hard work still ahead. It's one store, it's one country, it's one device at a time. And there'll still be some more good times and some hard times, for sure. But there's that sense that the hard work, that that Sisu has really begun to pay off. You feel that in the company. And with that optimism will come even more strength from the team as we go forward into 2013. So the dark days are almost behind you? I will say even though this is the darkest time of the year at uh, or in Finland because of the nature of the sun, it's a little bit brighter at Nokia today. And the last question, uh, what's your, uh, what would you like to say to the Finnish share owners at this moment when everything seems to be a little brighter? What I would like to say is thank you because the Finnish shareholders have come out in strength to support Nokia during its darkest days. And now what they're seeing is some great work. And our commitment is to continue to do our very best work and to work as hard as we can all around the world to deliver the results that they deserve.